What's going on everybody? It's your boy Inside Eleven. And right now, man, we're talking about redirecting your awareness and redirecting your mind and shit like that. Because you gotta remember, whatever thoughts and feelings you're paying attention to, thought, form of logic, practicality about yourself or something should be externalized, way of feeling about yourself, way of seeing yourself and shit or seeing the world around you. These two, these A and Bs, they come together, create a solution, and that solution is gonna be the guiding force in your life. And that solution then is gonna create an outcome and that's going to be the box that you're in. So as much as possible, you want to make sure that you're not putting your spirit, your awareness inside of a box, inside of a solution, inside of a thought and a feeling. You don't want to create offspring thoughts based on a negative mental environment that's not actually necessarily taking you in the direction of your purpose or the circumstance situation that you actually want to experience and shit like that, right? And we're going to get get into that. So yeah, always remember, right? You can limit yourself or you can be unlimited. It's up to you. So life itself is a space of all that is possible, both in the mind as far as what we are aware of, for fifth, sixth dimension, our spirit, whatever mind we're floating into and shit like that, that condense into thoughts and feelings, offsprings of that mental environment and become our 3D actions and reactions, behaviors um, are all predicated on that mental space we are in. So we're always creating our reality based upon the space that our spirit is in. If our spirit is in a fucked up negative space, it's going to be susceptible to fucked up negative situations and circumstances via fucked up negative beliefs and point of views about the self and about reality so it can actually create this. So it's all about what you resonate with mentally, what you allow your spirit to resonate with. You got to have the mental strength to resonate with something else, even if it's negative, even if life is showing you negative shit, right? So now, Based on, the, based, based on that, the physical 3D world can show you signs or information from people, places, and things appearing like shit is not going in your favor, right? But since the 3D world is just a physical material plane, but it's always operated by the agency of your mind, right? But since the body is the zombie that follow the mind that is directed by the agency of your mind, the stronger you are as a spirit to swim out of that awareness, those negative emotions, maybe negative ways of seeing yourself or the world, uh, you know, you'll be able to have mental strength to redirect your mind and create energies to accumulate that are in more prosperous spaces versus being convinced of the circumstance situation that is happening in front of you, right? Because here's the thing. People is already in the cycle. I'm going to explain this with symbolism, where, you know, the, the symbol of the A, that's the symbol of the Ouroboros. So now these two circles, the first circle above is going to be your mind, where your awareness is at, where, where your, which, which your mind, your spirit is in, floating in, and whatever your mind, whatever, whatever, whatever mind your spirit is into, right, that keep accumulating these awarenesses, negative, let's say, negative beliefs that become like negative thoughts and feelings that create a negative life or you can't necessarily get what you want out of a circumstance or situation due to a negative belief about yourself or a negative self-image, that's going to be what you're going to condense and shit like that into um, actions, behaviors, your life, your 3D world. That's going to be what you're going to carry out with this body, the zombie, because the mind might have some messed up shit in it. So if you don't believe you can get what you want in life, then you're going to, you're not going to ask for it. You're not going to be, you're not going to go for it, that type of shit, right? And here's the thing, right? Whatever it is that you want, there's going to be negatives and positives to it. And you're going to be willing to jump into that and deal with that regardless of what that is. Like, look, there's negatives and positives to staying at work late and not, uh, you know what I'm saying, getting the time off that you need. I do that because I got, I got a purpose in life, right? But the positive is, okay, sure, you get paid more, but you're going to be under, but you're going to condition your environment to treat you a certain way that, they, that you can be told what to do and you can be managed really well. And that might be like a good employee, right? And shit like that, right? Versus someone else that's aggressive and passionate about what they value and they go for that get off, let me get off early, right? They might look at you like, okay, it's not a good employee, but that person on the side, when they get off early, they're accumulating and do trying to do their purpose, trying to do their gift and talent so they can be in a more positive space. So there's positives and negatives to every space that we're in, whether it's, you know, you're in a position of being slave servitude or you're in a position of being ruler and stuff like that. The things that you have to deal with on a percent on a level is going to be it's like this on every level there's a different level the stuff that the businessman has to deal with is more than the shit the employee has to deal with 
but the businessmen always manifest and create more more in their life versus the employee they might have more safety security and stability type of stuff and need some form of external ship but the businessmen them having the mental strength to deal with all that to to be in that prosperous awareness regardless if their business is going negative and shit like that that's gonna be a spirit that's stronger because they can deal with more so the more you can deal with the more harsher situation circumstances that you can jump into and you want to be in that space because it's like it's like going to the gym the more you work out the more tougher situations you go through the more you can build that mental muscle that mental gymnastic that mental snap action you know what i'm saying to go do that thing regardless of the negativity you might get for it and shit like that you see what i'm saying so keep that in mind also so with all that being said you want to be able to use your spirit to remix the shapes and forms on your mind into saying yes it's going it's gonna it's gonna go in my favor because here's the thing the energy that you in itself that shows people kind of like uh, an, an emanation that is uh powerful and shit so if you're confident people will kind of like be more inclined to be like okay you know what yeah let's, this person do this whatever blah because it's like the energy that you in is what manifests if you're in an energy of being like down not sure like, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be like a bait for people to jump on and, and, and attack you. Kind of like a dog. Like a dog, if you're in the space of being afraid of a dog, a dog is just going to kind of like howl you, chase you type of shit. But if you're not, the dog will never do that because the dog's just seeing if you're scared of it and shit, right? So you got to be able to, whatever is going on in your external environment, you got to be able to remix those shapes and forms and outweigh that shit. Because here's the thing. It's not because it's not possible. It's because you're dealing with a world that is so limited in possibility that it's going to make you jump into a limited possibility that's probably not in your favor and shit like that, right? Because most people are not even in their favor. So they might believe that, hey, stop being in your favor. Come down from where you are. Be be a good employee. Go worship all day. Go do what we do. Because that's the story of uh, King Solomon and shit like that too, right? Being able to separate from these animalistic natures that prevent a spirit from going to experiencing the space that they want to experience mentally and then physically, right? And here's the thing, you got to remember, if you're a prosperous spirit, if you're on the path of purpose, just understand that a lot of people is going to look at that like negative, like that what you're doing is not good. It doesn't make sense. But here's the thing though, it's about the energy and the awareness that you're in. Because it's like, it's like whatever, whatever energy that you're matching, that's what the universe is going to match you with. If you match yourself, if you match yourself with the energy of, I can't, I'm not sure, then you're going to experience situations of I can't, I'm not sure, then the world's going to eat you like a fucking shark and shit like that, right? So you don't want to be in that space because here's the thing. A lot of niggas that rob people and shit, a lot of people that rob people, the first thing they have to do before they rob you or put you in a position of like, put a gun to your head, they have to see psychologically, hmm, is this person going to be in the position of servitude? Is this person, is this person afraid? And it's, it's all over your body. And it's like, if you know how to read, body language physicality because all subconscious really then they're gonna be able to do that to you so don't let the world do that to you and put yourself in a more prosperous awareness space because that's what's going to create the awareness and behavior you think that a motherfucker is going to rob somebody that's walking around looking like a fucking superman and shit feeling like a superman and they might even decide to do that but here's the thing you got to be willing to deal with that because that's what the world we're dealing with it's a very low animalistic low vibrational i hate high type of spirits type of world you know what i'm saying or even if you're if you have let's say the energy of optimism you might get negative people looking at you like man why are you optimistic about that shit i hate that crap right because they in a negative space so they have no choice but to take actions and display behaviors of negativity themselves right real shit and here's the thing right when you use your spirit to remix the shapes and forms that's on your mind that's coming at you from your external environment that appear like it's not going in your favor and shit, right? Like your boss tell you, hey, we need you to stay at work. If you say, okay, you accepted, you accepted that mental shape and form that, that someone projected on you, that air, that logic, that communication and shit like that, right? You accepted that and put yourself in a position of agreement that, okay, this is what I'm going to do. But if you, in your mind, if you're like, no, I'm not going to do that because I got to do X, Y, and Z. And then it's like you're taking your awareness and you're paying attention to a different possibility, a different route, a quantum travel that you want to create. And if you put yourself in that space of that energy all the time 
and you let your your spirit accumulate those thoughts and feelings, those stars, those mentalities and shit like that, you're going to be able to create that regardless of the external environment or what it has to say. Because it's not about the thoughts and feelings that they have on their mind. It's not about what the world believes in. It's about what do you believe in. That's what's going to create re your reality, right? Where you can even hear the story of Muhammad where he was preaching for 10 years. People hated this nigga. People were throwing rocks at this dude for 10 years. But this dude became the dictator of Arabia. This dude created the most, one of the biggest religions in the world. And here's the thing, I'm, and y'all know me, I'm not for religion whatsoever. But I'm talking about the virtue itself of valuing the shit that you say that you value. And then that creates your reality. And look, it's like the whole business, uh, businessman and employee. Muhammad could have been an employee. Uh, did, did what his tribe told him, blah, blah, blah. But he came, became a businessman, a spiritual businessman, right? And then he was able to take on more responsibilities, uh, more stuff, because he had mental strength, right? And that mental strength manifested as a whole group of followers, a whole group of, uh, a, a whole theology and religion, and you know what I'm saying, all that type of shit. And then you can take that story and do it with anybody. Even Henry Ford, it's so a story about Henry Ford, uh, engineers telling him, yo, man, we're going to make this engine, but I don't think this is possible, bro. If Henry Ford believed what, it, what his engineers told him, right, allowed his engineers to redirect their mind and tell them, like, yo, nah, uh, okay, yeah, y'all right, bro. I know I know y'all the engineers, and, you know, I know y'all understand these mechanics really well, so, you know, I don't believe y'all. But he didn't believe that. The dude wasn't even an engineer. The dude just has had a belief in his mind that, nah, bro, we're going to make this possible. And they tried again and again and again. I think for like 10, 5 years. And they still failed, failed, and failed. But because of that consistency, that persistency, that mental consistency, persistency, he created that fucking engine. And right now we got some nice Ford cars, I guess. But the, but the point of the story is to have the mental strength to outweigh the world and the people places around you. And it's harder said than done, but it's a muscle and it's a space you got to get into. Because here's the thing, if you're spiritual... You just understand the world is very low vibe, very animalistic. You can see all these all these gluttony eating motherfuckers. <laughs> you can see all these wrathful, angry motherfuckers at the grocery store and shit. <laughs> you can see all these jealous ass motherfuckers and shit like that, right? So you gotta understand the world in the very is in a very low vibrational space. Where people would rather carry a cater or two their vices, their insecurities, their biases about why something can't happen. And they're not actually in a space of all possibilities. They're not in the all possible space, right? And that's gonna be that's gonna have to be a decision that you make in your personal life and shit like that, right? Um, yeah. So this is so this is basically akin. This is akin into saying uh, into into the biblical saying of no weapons formed against me will prosper. All who rise up against me will fall. If you really really believe that. You're going to play out the actions and behavior of no open forms against people possible, or rise against people fall. Even if the situation is negative, you, your, your spirit is going to be in a space of awareness that's going to accumulate positive thoughts and feelings, positive chakras. And then you'll find a route. It'll be some way, shape, or form where your energy, your spirit travel in the inter trajectory that make that shit possible. Even if you're in, going through a negative circumstance situation, right? So it's like... Everything is possible. Don't let people tell you something is not possible. Everything is possible. You just got to be in that space of all that is possible. Of saying, yes, no open form against me will prosper. All who rise up against me will fall. Like, you think Jesus was thinking like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, my niggas, you know, every weapon form against me, uh, you know, will prosper. And yeah, nigga, you know, I'll get my ass whooped every day. Nah, man, Jesus was not in that space, bro. This nigga was whooping ass, bro. Whether he was a real person or whether we're talking about it uh, as an allegory of the sun and shit like that, right? Because here's the thing. The, un the universe itself is a space of all that is possible. We just limit ourselves to a particular space, right? Where you even got like mental programs. Let's say, for example, you're a black man. You might get put in a program of, oh, you're a drug dealer, X, Y, Z. And you, people might project that onto you and shit and tell you, yeah. And you might actually go do that. But here's the thing. It's not even about that, right? You might even be some, some white dude, you know what I'm saying? Born in some type of like low life. And then you believe this is what you have to do to get by. Scam. Hurt people. Put negative influences out to the street, right? Because it's just about you're either going to let the environment create you or you're going to create the environment with your mind, with your spirit, right? And shit like that. And a lot of, you know, humans, a lot of spirits is not necessarily in that space of all that is possible, more so in a space of catering to something that's something impossible or something being not possible or not being sure and shit like that, where we're all here to be an example 
for a new space that we're all trying to jump into and shit like that, right? Real fucked stuff. Yeah. So basically, now, so basically when you're able to outweigh, remix that unfavorable circumstance, that's, that's you using your spirit to renew, rewrite, because the R has to do with regenerating and re, uh, D and regenerating and stuff like that, right? Where your spirit's climbing a ladder and coming down from a ladder and shit. I'm coming in a cycle, coming out of a cycle. Same way your skill, uh, your cells regenerate and degenerate. You can create some healthy tissues, some negative tissues. Think about it. The body sometimes can create cancerous cells that are against the functions of the body, causing the body to decay and wither away and die. Think about the mind that you're creating. Is the mind that you're creating creating a life where you wither away and die and you're in a negative? Why would you do that, right? Unless you was in a negative space and shit like that. So the R has to do with regenerating and degenerating. When you know how to direct your spirit in the space that you want it to so you can regenerate the shit that you want to regenerate and degenerate the mentality that you don't need anymore, that's understanding quantum travel. Going in and out of spaces based on understanding what's favorable, being like a smart spirit. Where it's like smart technology and shit like that. Because your spirit is smart. You just got to be able to, you know, direct your spirit and stuff like that. Because your spirit can be trapped in a mind, in a feeling, in a, in a lot of shit. But you got to be able to get out of that shit. Real stuff. Um, yeah. I'm trying to find where the fuck, where the fuck I was. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's you using your spirit to renew, reroute, overwrite that awareness on your mind into experiencing mentally first because it's about the mental realm right because we come from our mental realm it's not objective subjective it's subjective objective so whatever you have going on in your speculative space and shit like that that's going to be the objective reality that you correct so you always want to make sure you deal with your mind rather than the outer world no the world's not doing anything to you we're allowing the world to do shit to us and when we learn to take more ownership more accountability of our mind we'll be able to take power and control more so over the world than allow it uh to us and here's the thing sometimes sometimes it do be certain energies that we need to be in that we can like like you know relatability balance and stuff like that there's going to be uh but here's the thing it's totally up to you what you manifest is going to be up to you you can be angry and aggressive and passionate all you want to but you're going to have to deal with the positive and negatives of being in that quality same thing if you're too relatable libra type of shit you have to deal with the positives and negatives of being in that quality because being too relatable all the time is not necessarily good because what an individual should be selfish. Here's the thing. A lot of people might not tell you this. I'm going to tell you right now. You should be narcissistic. You should live for yourself. Hell yeah, you should live for yourself, bro. Who else are you living for? For your boss at work? For your mom and dad? Now nah, you're here to live for you. But there is balance between all these circumstances and situations. You know what I'm saying? But that's like some other shit. That's some other video, you know? Um, Yeah, so then behaving physically via more prosperous energies, right? Based on the space that you're in and shit. So you can be... In a space of negative energies or a space of positive energies, it's, it's totally going to be up to you. Um, that are aligning with a better outcome and solution. So whatever solution that you have on your mind could be a, a weak one, could be carried to a, a, a bad box and outcome, or it can be a good solution and a good outcome that takes you in the direction of you know your purpose or some circumstance situation that you want to experience that's more favorable. But we might just have like a belief system on our mind that our spirit is floating in that's not actually favorable and stuff like that, right? So when you create that prosperous energy, regardless of how others think and feel towards you, even if they are negatively directing energies that are low vibrational in nature, your, pros your prosperous energy will redirect that through behaviors to a better circumstance situation that's more favorable, right? Because remember, I already said, the world's a very negative place. We're gonna tell you, no, this is not possible. You can't do this. No, no go to work. No, stay in school, blah, 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 all that shit. There's nothing wrong with these things. Like I said, there's just positives and negatives to all these things that you're gonna have to deal with and stuff like that. But the more you're able to, the more you can handle as a spirit, the more you can lift. So the more you can handle. Where's a new level, new devil. And that's what you're always gonna have to deal with as a spirit and shit like that. So you might as well just like start practicing it now. So you can actually just, Get out of that bullshit and stuff like that, right? Like, get out of that cycle that's not actually serving your goals and shit, right? So, the 3D physical plane is made up of very low negative currents of energy because everyone is stuck in their mind, stuck, stuck in their body, really, stuck in their flesh, stuck in their vices, stuck in their insecurities, stuck in gluttony, stuck in anger, stuck in, like, uh, animalistic traits, not higher angelic traits and stuff like that, right? Uh, meaning, most spirits in this world are floating in a mind that creates a reality of why something is not possible for them, right? 
uh, or something is not possible for them through usually catering to vices, insecurities, just a form of attachment to a mental form or a mental cycle that's not in their favor. And you can outweigh anything with your mind, even the cycle that you're in, just by putting time and energy. And it's an incremental change. It's not just like a get up and go type of change. It takes time and energy to do these things. As much as time and energy you put in, let's say you put time and energy into conditioning people to treat you negatively because you had a belief system. Now, they're used to doing that. So you're going to have to start doing things slowly and surely to get up to get up and out of that and show that because you've conditioned them now right where you're enabling people to do certain things you don't want to enable people because you might be creating demons and shit like that right um yeah so basically ultimately to be honest with you this is just you creating your own vortex creating your own rotation right so you can create your own destination and stuff like that and you know as to not uh so hold on this is creating your own vortex rotation as to not allow the word of people places and things or like thoughts and feelings uh or spirits that's not in your favor to dislodge you from your uh purpose or disorient you mentally from your purpose or your true direction because you can have a, a destination you're trying to go mentally or you can have something that you're trying to create a circumstance situation but your own awareness your own vortex or rotation that could be cater that could have been catered catering to, to a negative mentality for a long time will try to get you out of that because the mind is the flesh itself is conditioned now to do that so if you try to go against it it's not gonna like that it's gonna create some type of like chemical type of influence in your body to put you in that space so you can understand hey stay here don't go nowhere because the mind doesn't like to change but change is what's needed to get to another level change is what's needed with the season so a person that's not willing to change is a person that's changing to the negative because you're always accumulating something if you got a negative habit, negative thought, negative feeling, it's only getting worse. It's not getting better. So you are what you're aware of. If you're aware of like negative thoughts and feelings and beliefs, you're creating negative circumstances and situations, and you're accumulating that reality. And eventually, you're not. You're gonna be. You're gonna be tired of that reality. You don't want to get up, get the fuck up out, and go out of that reality and shit. Eventually. So you either transform it yourself, or let the universe transform it for you. And when Pluto transformed that, it's not gonna be. Um, in your favor at all well you could have done it in a way that was in your favor by using the energy of the planet but depending on where you have it right so if you don't use it the world's gonna do it for you and then you're not gonna like that and shit like that right um but yeah so this is basically a way of your mind so this 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 way what your mind is eating is a positive more in your favor cycle that's not this fun that's not a dysfunctional cycle that takes you off your purpose right because a lot of people create dysfunctional behaviors dysfunctional patterns a mentality that's dysfunctional it's not creating the circumstance the life that they want to experience right but staying in that versus getting up and out of that is going to be the ultimate determining factor and how strong you are as a spirit to not only overwrite or create a space of awareness for your spirit to dwell within that's more prosperous to accumulate more positive chakras more positive energies and stuff like that right that say yes this is possible may be difficult at the beginning but the more time and energy you put into it regardless of the difficulties you meet and stuff like that because your mind is not going to like it your body's not going to like it but eventually it's going to have to oblige because it's always directed by the agency of the mind but if the mind already condensed so many thoughts and feelings and program the flesh and conditioned these different systems in the flesh like the nervous system the lymphatic system the heart chakra and stuff like that the throat chakra and stuff like that it's gonna be there might be certain blockages preventing that and you're gonna have to deal not only with yourself with your own mind but you're also gonna have to deal with the world and how the world is gonna look at you because when you're on a new level there's always gonna be a new devil so once you deal with yourself now you're going to be dealing with the world and dealing with yourself simultaneously. But, you, but if you let the world outweigh you, then boom, that's going to be you going into a negative space. If you jump into a more positive space, then you can be in that more positive circumstance. Whatever you believe, that's what you're going to create. With that being said, everybody, huge favor. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you share this motherfucking video so we can kick YouTube's ass and its motherfucking algorithm. With that being said, I'm going to see everybody tomorrow. Peace out. Have a lovely day. Take care, gentlemen and ladies.